Rim of the Pacific is the world's largest maritime exercise, but it was a multinational team of ground troops who added the exclamation point at the end. RIMPAC 2012 concluded in dramatic fashion, demonstrating the interoperability of more than 2,200 personnel from nine different countries. Starting aboard the USS Essex, some of the force made its way ashore in amphibious assault vehicles. Some flew in by helicopter. Eventually, they all were moving downrange to engage their targets. It's a very complex uh, thing to come from the sea and do whatever mission you've been assigned. Uh, Everybody's come together very well to include our interaction with the U.S. Navy, and we really need that platform to be able to project uh, power ashore like you saw this morning. The exercise demonstrated the land force's abilities to conduct amphibious operations. You like to learn lessons in peacetime before you need them in a crisis, and uh, that's exactly what we've done out here this, this last month. You know, we're not going to do anything unilaterally, so everything that we, that we do out in the future uh, we're going to do with our coalition partner and our allies. For Exercise Rim of the Pacific, I'm Corporal Ben Eberle.